faith to me is something strong, something that you feel in your heart. It does not believe, it does not matter what religion you are. As long as you believe strongly in the faith that you have, it faith for me, it, it's like it tugs on your heart. It's in your heart. You know for yourself that that is true for you. Don't let anyone else tell you that you should be a different faith. Like, for example, when I was going through the part where my mom is always pressuring me to be Christian. Excuse me. Sorry, I gotta take a drink. I'm gonna come back to Christianity. Amy. I've been pegging for 20 some years now. And <clears throat> I am handicapped and I'm, I'm bound downstairs now. I can't go upstairs. I have to take a shower. But besides, that's the point. I had to, I figured I'll get rid of all my pagan stuff. So, I did that. Again, I did a video on pagan tools, and I'm not going to get into that. So, I thought that I had to be Christian, and it's something that I never really did believe fully in. I for what all I know about Christianity, it's I'm not bashing Christianity here. It's just not for me. If you feel in your heart truly that your God is in your heart and you believe truly in that, then hold on to that. Because faith has a lot to do with your life. When you think about it right now, I am killing my mind, body, and soul. I'm working on my body. I'm working on my mind. And I'm working on my soul. Because when I was selling my pagan stuff, I won't forget this guy. He said to me, I thought I was a Gnostic at the time. Um, he said to me that, well, if you're not selling your Basset statues, then there still is some pagan in you. And that kind of answered the thing that, yes, I cannot let go of Basset or Anubis. Those are my two God and goddesses that I personally believe in, and I believe very strongly into the Egyptian faith. Um, so, no, I cannot leave it. I, I came back to it. I never really left it. It was just something very close into my heart. A lot of uh, faiths have this battle against homosexuality. A lot of the Abrahamic faiths have this. Um, and some people will say the Egyptians did not agree with it, which actually they did. They had no problem with it, either did any other pagan belief. Um, but that's just, I'm not trying to do a religious bash in here. Um, like I said, if you believe strongly in your faith, that is your faith. Believe in it. If you're atheist and you don't feel you believe completely in science and that you don't believe in faith and you'll think it's a cult and I mean not saying all atheists think this way I mean Jacqueline Glenn if you check her out she's an atheist and she's reasonable she doesn't bash other people and that's what the religion should be no matter what your religion is you should not be pushing your religion on other people truthfully if that person does not how can I say this if, by not pushing your religion, I mean, don't really go, hey, you should be this way, you should be that way. Let that person come to you. If they ask you a question about your religion, answer it. Um, if they want to know more, then there you go. You can provide more answers. But do not push the religion on them. The true believers of your religion will come to you. They are guided by the heart. You are guided by your heart to which religion faith you want to be. We knows what religion is correct. I mean, we can participate and have wars and all we want, and we have had trillions of people killed over whose God is right, which I don't think that's right at all, because we truly do not know. Anyhow, we believe it strongly in our heart. We may not know. You know, it could be different. 
But to say that your religion's better than everyone else and you constantly push it on each other, I know on YouTube we constantly have battles of religion. We should not be doing that, people. Religion and you know, faith is one of the strongest things you can have to hold on to. It's there when you're low. It's there when you're, you know, it's always there for you.